During World War I, it was extremely rare to come across women in combat roles. However, 80,000 women served in non-combat roles across the First World War, with two of the highest regarded being Mary Chisholm and Elsie Knocker. With this dynamic duo getting dubbed the Angels of Pervis by the press. Mary Chisholm was born on the 26th of February 1896 in Dashett into a wealthy family. Her father Roderick Gooden Chisholm, against his wife's wishes, bought a teenage Mary a Douglas motorbike which she became obsessed with, riding, stripping down and repairing it relentlessly. It would be on this bike, riding along the Hampshire and Dorset lanes, Mary would meet a 30 year old single mother, Elsie Knocker, with the pair striking a fast bond and going on to compete in motorcycle and sidecar trails together. As the First World War broke out in 1914, Knocker wrote to Chisholm, stating there was work to be done, suggesting the pair go to London to become dispatch riders for the Women's Emergency Corps. Chisholm, while riding her motorbike from Dorset to London, came across Dr Hector Murnau, who was impressed by Chisholm's riding, asking her to go to Flanders. Chisholm agreed, with her and Knocker being relocated to Thurnes from Ghent in October, with the pair tirelessly picking up wounded soldiers from the front lines and taking them back to the field hospital at the rear of the battlefield. While the work these women done was heroic, it was also deeply traumatising, with a diary entry from Chisholm reading, No one can understand unless one has seen the rows of dead men laid out. One sees men with their jaws blown off, arms and legs mutilated. Both Chisholm and Knocker realised more lives could be saved if they treated the wounded directly on the front lines. This resulted in both women leaving the corpse and setting up their own dressing station in a vacant cellar in Pervais, a hundred yards from the trenches. The duo now free from the Belgian Red Cross were essentially free agents. This meant they had to raise their own funds. However, Knocker eventually managed to negotiate the pair into being seconded to the Belgian garrison that were stationed. The two women received many medals, an example being in 1915 when both Chisholm and Knocker received the Order of Leopard II award from King Albert I of Belgium. The two additionally gained instant fame for their work and were the most photographed women of the war. After the war, the two women were mobbed by the press and public. However, the relationship of the two women fell apart as Chisholm learned the truth about Knocker's divorce to her first husband, with divorce being highly frowned upon at the time in England. Up until this point, Elsie had lied saying her husband had died in Indonesia, resulting in the two women not being in speaking terms. To make matters worse for Mary, her health took a beating from her courageous actions on the battlefield showing poisoning symptoms, contracting septicemia and having a very weak heart. Mary still tried to live a fast paced life, taking up auto racing, but due to the doctor's advice she had to slow down and she moved to Nairn, where she would pass away on the 22nd of August 1981 from lung cancer at 85 years old. Knocker on the other hand was residing in Surrey in the Earl Haig homes houses for the ex-servicemen and women. Knocker took up chihuahua breeding to fulfil her love of animals. She too would pass away at 93 years old from pneumonia and senile dementia on the 26th of April 1978.